up, YouTube? We're back at it again, man. We're making a sample for a customer. We're gonna do an acrylic smooth. And uh, I put some foam bonder over foam. So we're gonna let this set up. After we let this set up, we're gonna hit it with some acrylic super fine. White's in right now. That's what they're having. They're doing white with like a black trim, dark brown. I'm gonna get that bucket for you. better for your finish. I, that's just always how it works. It doesn't matter if it's a brown coat, uh, scrap coat, last coat. It all boils down. The better you have that lap on, the better you're going to get a scratch. And the better that that scratch is more uniform, the better that you're going to have a brown coat. And that's what you, you know, <clears throat> people that do stucco, that's a house right there. This house right here, this is a, it's a two coat system. I don't want to get off the subject. This is a two coat system. Just want to explain what I'm talking about. This is a two coat system. That means there's foam underneath here, one inch foam. And this is traditional texture. Texture will hide a multitude of sins. Will hide a lot of bad um, valleys, highs and lows. But when you're getting into this higher end stuff, you can't, you don't have that option. You got you. This stuff's got to be perfect, and you you can't. I mean, you can't have some flaws in it, but the, the less you have, the better it is. So, all I'm doing is just knocking off, knocking down the highs and lows on this. Clean these edges up. Once we're all done with this, let this set up for about 20 minutes. That's all it really needs. I mean, it's hot out here, man. Um, how hot is it out here, Parnell, today? I don't know. He don't think it's hot, man, but I think it's hot, man. But like I said, we're doing this for a customer. They haven't uh, given us the green light yet, whether or not. Um, they want to do this. Um, sometimes we'll go to the, the manufacturer and they'll provide us a sample. This one's a little bit bigger and I kind of wanted to do it myself. Some of the guys that are making the samples, they're not plasters. They're great guys, man. And I'm not knocking them down, but um, I want to show them something that when they see it, they're going to say, wow, I, I want this on my house. And they're going to want to pay that extra, you know, a couple thousand dollars just to have that on there. Um, there it is. I think I'm happy with that. Nice and clean. And I'm going to come back and I'll show you how we, we do our our first coat on an acrylic, super fine. So uh, you hold on for a minute, YouTube, and uh, I'll be right back. We'll put you on pause. All right, YouTube, we back at it again. 
we're going to put lay down this first coat of this acrylic smooth um, with the help of the sun and this bar bar from Harbor Freight. I mean, help me out. But it's dry. You hear that? You want to go over this? Make sure all your your boogers are off. And get ready to lay it down. Here we go. Let's fuck it a little closer. I'm just gonna throw it on there, not hawk and troll it. Start from the middle, work your way out. This is your first coat. Oh, right on my pants. You don't want to do that or make it a habit of doing that because this stuff don't come off, man. basically spread it on make sure it's covered up pretty good you don't want to have it too thick I think I got it a little thick on this but we're gonna pull it off once we get a float on here and on this we we use a different type of float it's called a it's a plastic float it's a hard plastic float and it up really works at least you get right here and uh, I'll show you how we use it right now just want to hit these corners this corner it's a process corners man they're just they're just fun to work with man put that in there you want to have your float you can use a float or a trowel if you don't want it too wet you start working it so this right here has has a little too much material. You really want to have about an eighth of an inch of this material on here. No, no more than that. Then what happens is it just makes it hard to work with. Or now put that lid on that bucket. Basically what you do, you open it up, open it up, open up that material, once it's opened up, get your float, clean it off. Dang flies out here, man. Buggy. Clean it off. So that's, that's all you do. You just clean it off. 
Then you come back and you lay it down flat. That's how you lay it down. So you open it up, let it breathe, let it dry. Once it wants to dry, and you just lay it down. Lay it down. You want to do figure eight motions. It just helps when you do that. If you go in swirls, you get swirls. Figure eights, it kind of it kind of lays it down flat. It gets every area. Some areas you gotta work it, and I understand that. But you just swirl. Swirl it. No swirl, excuse me. Figure eight. Figure eight. You just lay down flat. Alright. Your sides. You wanna hit your sides? Kind of roll, roll your edges. Just gotta work this material. want to keep your tools clean man that's very important with this material see how it wants to stick on there lower it in a water bucket it'll help Material. You got a little bit of time to, to float with it, mess with it. come back and hit this if you hit this once it's dry it, it, it'll it'll bleed through whatever you hit it you know we're gonna put a second coat you got to be very very careful once you lay down this material you can't go back and hit it you know there's there's certain ways that you can do it but for the most part if you want it to look good you got to be hit it and leave it alone man can't be going back and forth with it. You know, sometimes I have a tendency to want to do that. But you want to just clean your edges. When you're doing acrylic, you, you don't want to be doing it midday like I'm doing it today. It just, it's just too hot, man. Just too hot. You know? This material's got to be, it's got to be cool. So what I'm going to do on the last coat, I'm going to throw it in the shade. So it'll give me a little bit of a little bit of drying time. A 
this is my first coat. You really want it to lay it down nice and even. See any highs and lows, just go over it. All right. Let that dry for about five to 10 minutes and we're gonna come back and we'll put that final coat on. All right. Give you guys a few minutes or give me a few minutes to catch up to you guys. All right, YouTube, we back. I'm gonna finish this up. This is the second, and that's the last coat, man. You just repeat. Just repeat process one. And just put it in the middle. You work from the middle all the way to your to the outside. When you're doing it on the walls, it's a lot different. My gloves at. See my gloves part right here. All right. There we go. Back to this. So I moved moved our area to a shaded area, man. So this material won't have a tendency to dry up quicker than what I need it to. So you always want to spread acrylic in in a shaded area, nice and cool. I mean, if you're in the winter time and you're in the, where the sun's at, then you're perfectly fine. Um, you want to be around 60 degrees, 65. Um, you don't want to be any lower than 55, man. 55, 50. This material won't won't dry. It's got to be in the in a controlled controlled environment. You know, or you got to work in the right temperatures. This material is finicky, man. I mean, you know, you don't want to try your very best not to do it in hot weather. I mean, we've done it, and <clears throat> it's not as easy as it looks, man. It's Sometimes you'll have to put a third coat. We did a building the other day um, to where it just got hot on us. And the next day we had to go back and spread like two walls because it just got too hot and the material was just too sticky and wouldn't, wouldn't, lay, down, wouldn't lay down correct. So I'm just showing you guys how we're doing a sample for a customer. Nice and easy. Clean your trowel off. You want to clean your trowel off. Hit it with the corner tool. You don't have to, but some guys do, some guys don't. It gives you a nice clean edge, but we're gonna float right over it, so. It's on this edge, there it goes. Boom, there it is. That's what I wanted, clean edge. Our margin trail. Forget where you put your tools at, man. I hate when I do that. So, want to open it up. Open it up. It's a little heavy on there. Just 
took some of that cream off. Just take it off. And you open it up. Just open this up. Work it. Just open that material up. All right, it's opened up. Gotta keep your trout clean, man. That's the trick of this trade, man. Keeping it clean. So, I just want to show you how you open it up, man. Get a little close. See these edges? So, we open it up. And then we're going to come back down and lay it down. And like I said, we're going to do like some figure eight moves. Just lay it down. The area needs to be laid down a little bit more. You just work it. Find me a brush, paintbrush. Gotta work this material, man.
Is there a finer one than that? Here, let me see it. I might. I'll try to use it. There's one that I like that I like to use all the time. It's a real tiny, little small one, but. set overnight. It'll be ready tomorrow. A little bug, man. It's a problem with these bugs, man, out here. That's it, guys. I'll give you guys a close-up. I'll show you what we did. So this is how you do a super fine color sample. Um, like I said, this white's the new stuff that's in. Most of the houses, custom houses, um, remodeled houses, they're going with this this white with the dark trim. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. I like it. But uh, I just want to give you guys a close up. So that's it right there, man. Let's see if I can. That's it, man. That's an acrylic super fine. I mean, we could go with another coat because it kind of bled it bled through there. I'll look at it tomorrow morning, see what I'm going to do. Like I said, this is a sample. On some of these, you really want to, you can paint them. And uh, you put a primer, excuse me, you put a primer on this. And uh, white, that's the, the one thing about white, man. You know, you, you, you got to put a primer on it because it'll bleed through. Or if you want to, you know, spend the extra money on the on the buckets, you can do that too and go with, go with the third coat. But like I said, this is our, our color sample. We're going to present it tomorrow. I was trying to get it done today, but... Didn't, didn't quite make it but uh all right youtube we're gonna be out man and uh like i said just wanted to show you what we were doing today and uh 
We'll catch you guys on the next wall. Cornell finally got me the paint brushes that I needed. But uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys. All right, YouTube, we out, man.